Hello everyone, welcome to my English class. Today, we are going to do reading comprehension tutorial using the trial SPM 2020 paper from Penang. Paper 2, Section C. Let's look at the text together. Paragraph 1. The story is about a woman. Okay, so the woman walked down a busy street making her way to a food outlet. She passed by a beggar who asked for alms. The man looked old, unshaven, and ill-dressed. What happened next? Paragraph 2. She kindly asked the man if he was alright. The beggar glanced at her sideways, not knowing what to answer. Leave me alone, lady, he yelled. The woman did not move. Instead, to his surprise, she smiled at, at him and gently asked if he was hungry. Paragraph 3. A policeman saw the commotion and went over to them. The officer thought perhaps the beggar was trying to pull the woman begging for some change. Then the woman, okay now paragraph 4, then the woman explained, Believe me officer, I'm not trying to keep that him. I just want to take him to that cafe over there. The beggar was slightly weak and had difficulties to walk. As they entered the cafe, the manager stopped them and refused to allow them in. He claimed that the beggar was bad for his business, his things, and that will chase my customers away, ma'am. Paragraph 5. The woman got annoyed. She turned to cafeteria manager and said, Sir, I think you know Shamir and Associates, the law firm down the street. Of course I do. They call their, meet their weekly meetings in here. Well, I'm the CEO of the firm and I will cancel the next weekly meeting if you won't allow him in. The manager quickly apologized and allowed them in. Paragraph 6. The woman thanked the officer as he left. He gently helped the beggar to sit and made some orders. Then she asked the beggar, Do you remember me? You used to work in a cafe not far from here when you were younger, am I right? Paragraph 7. Do I know you? He asked. Well, 15 years ago, it was you who paid for my food. At that time, I just graduated and came to the city looking for a job. I ran out of cash and lived on the streets for days. Now we know why she helped the beggar. Paragraph 8. Oh yeah, I remember now. You were the girl who stole the leftovers. The woman said, yeah, but you didn't report me. Instead, you gave me a roasted chicken sandwich and deducted the price from your pay that day. Then she continued, paragraph 9. Then she continued, to show you my gratitude, I am going to make a telephone call and arrange a job interview for you. Don't worry about accommodation. I think I can arrange a place for you to stay. The beggar was speechless. Tears rolled down his cheeks. His voice choked with emotion upon hearing it and murmured, Thank you. Okay, people. Please download the question paper to read the whole text again. My focus today is to answer the questions the reading comprehension questions from number 26 to number 30. Are you ready? Let's do it now. Okay, question number 26A. From paragraph 1, describe how the beggar looked like. Okay, now we go back to paragraph 1 and look for the sentence 
that describe the beggar, the man. Okay, scan using your finger. Okay, so look at this sentence. The man looked old, unshaven and ill-dressed. Okay, so this is how you describe the beggar or the man. He looked old, unshaven and ill-dressed. Okay, so that is what you read, you write. Okay, the man looked old, unshaven and ill-dressed. That's it. Okay, now let's go to paragraph 3. Which word has the same meaning to surprise? Okay, so look at paragraph 3 and you scan. Scan, scan, scan. Okay, and you read the sentences one by one with intonation. Okay, let's look at this sentence. The policeman looked at her in astonishment and asked, What do you want to do with him? What do you want to do with him? Okay, the intonation of surprise. So the word is astonishment. Okay, so when you read, you read with uh, emotion and you will understand the meaning of the word. Okay, so the meaning, the word has the meaning, has the same meaning to surprise is astonishment. So you don't have to write a sentence here. You just give the word. Question say which word? Just give the word. You don't write any sentences. Okay, now let's go to number 27A from paragraph 4. Why the manager did not want to let the beggar in, in the cafe. Okay, why he didn't allow the man to enter the cafe. Okay, so you scan again and look for the sentence that can help you to answer the question. As they entered the cafe, the manager stopped them and refused to allow them in. He claimed that the beggar was bad for his business. He stinks and that will chase my customers away. My customers away. Whose customers? The manager's customers. When you write, my change to his. Okay? He stinks that will chase his customers away. This is how you write the answer. The beggar was bad for his business because he stinks and that will chase his customers away. Now let's go to 27B from paragraph 6. Why do you think the beggar had to live on the street? There are two answers that you need to write here. Maybe you can get more than two answers from paragraph 6. But the question only wants you to write two. Never mind. Now let's look at paragraph 6. Scan again. Okay, scan for the answer. The beggar was astounded. He blinked back his tears as his memory raced back to the time when he was working at a breakfast shop. The cafe had different owner back then. It went out of business and he had nowhere to go. He was too old to work. So, he was forced to live on the street. Okay, not his cafe. The cafe where he worked. Okay. The cafe where he worked went out of business. Went out of business. Okay, so that's the answer for B1. Okay, what about B2? Again, let's look at the paragraph. He went out of business. He had nowhere to go. He was too old to work. Okay, he had nowhere to go. He was too old to work. So, you choose either one. Either you want to write, uh, he had nowhere to go, or you want to write, he was too old to work anywhere. Okay, I said either. Either means salah satu. Jangan tulis tiga. Dia nak dua bagi dua. Okay, now number 28. From paragraph 7, what were her suffering? Okay, so this question is referring to the woman. There are two answers that you need to write here. Maybe you can get more answers from the paragraph but you just write two okay 15 years ago it was you who paid for my food okay can okay, you scan and read with intonation i just graduated and came to the city looking for a job i ran out of cash and live on the street for days 
Okay, I ran out of cash and lived on the street for days. I was, she was starving. Hungry, she was starving. Okay, so there are three answers that you can get from the paragraph, but you write only two. The first one, she ran out of money. Okay, just now. I ran out of cash. Cash here means money. And then the other one, the other two will be um, here. She, she was starving. Okay. She lived on the streets for days. Okay, so that's first. Okay, so the other one is she was starving. So it is either one for, for number two. She lived on the street for days or she was starving. Okay. Next, so number 29, from paragraph 8, what made her successful? What made her successful? So the key word is successful. Let's look at the paragraph. Okay. Scan again, read quickly. Okay. And you go for the sentence that can give you answer. Okay. I got a job. At the law firm I'm working now, that memory of being hungry made me work harder. That's how I get this far. That's how I get this far. This is to show that she is successful. Okay, how she becomes successful? The memory of being hungry made me work harder. So the answer is this. So you write the memory of being hungry made her work harder. So that's why she became successful. Now let's go to number 30. Act of kindness is a gift that we can afford to give. If you were the woman, state two actions you would do to help the beggar. Okay, so the actions has been taken by the woman. It is stated in paragraph 9. To show you my gratitude, I'm going to make a telephone call uh, and arrange a job interview. Okay, I can arrange a place for you to stay. So there are two things that she did. Okay, so maybe you need to write your action. Okay, your own answer. So you don't take the sentence from here. So you have to think what else that you can do to help the beggar. Okay, so this is hot. Okay, but please think for the answer, then you can tell me what is your answer by uh, write to me on WhatsApp, okay, email to me your answer. Okay, so how to help people in need? Okay, I give you the idea. Okay, people, thank you for watching.